Learning to program is a rite of passage in probably all computer science and related courses. For many decades, this skill would reliably set computing graduates apart from their other discipline peers. In the 21st century, programming proficiency on its own is neither representative of the skills that the marketplace requires from computing graduates, nor does it offer the strong vocational qualifications it once did. Instead, we should encourage computing students to contribute code to open source software projects. I have been practicing and owning this approach for more than 15 years in a software engineering course where open source contributions are an assessed compulsory requirement. Programming skills are nowadays only a part of what a software developer should know because development practices have advanced to include work on orders of magnitude larger systems, advanced tooling, pervasive process automation, as well as sophisticated teamwork, workflows, and management. Consequently, instruction must move from the course's educational laboratory to an organizational setting. By contributing to open source projects, students acquire in practice a formidable range of skills, knowledge and experiences, which allow them to work productively as modern, well-rounded developers, rather than as the lone wolf coders portrayed by Hollywood. The most difficult skills to acquire in a traditional assignment are the following social and organizational skills. Developing a sense of context, understanding how development work is embedded in a project's scope, mission, team of co-developers and new forms of leadership. Interacting with the project's global and diverse community. Negotiating feature requests, requirements and implementation choices. Dealing with communication problems, such as absent responses, which are common in volunteer-run projects. Appreciating the software as a product through practices such as issue triaging and release planning. Receiving, discussing and addressing code review comments. The learning outcomes of open source software contributions include navigating through a project's assets such as software code, issues, documentation, and pull requests. Evaluating swiftly the product and process quality of software systems or components, as is often required in modern software reuse. Configuring, building, running, and debugging third-party code. Setting up and running software-intensive systems with diverse software and hardware requirements. In the course I run, these have included mobile phones, car electronics, application servers, databases, containers, Internet of Things equipment, and embedded devices. Choosing realistic contribution goals. Initially, students tend to wildly overestimate their ability to contribute to a project. Reading third-party code to identify where their additions or fixes need to be made. Modifying a large third-party system by adding a new feature or fixing a bug. Writing tests that demonstrate that their contribution is working as expected, now and into the future. Working with software systems developed using multiple programming languages and tools. Documenting their work, typically using a declarative markup language. Following sophisticated configuration management version control of workflows, such as working on issue branches and rebasing code commits. Passing pre-commit and continuous integration checks and tests. The compulsory open source software contribution assignment is part of an award-winning third-year course titled Software Engineering in Practice. I deliver the course using a light flipped classroom approach and I assess it entirely through coursework based on the students, open source project work available online, code commits and interactions, their final written report and their in-class presentations. Getting a contribution accepted is not a prerequisite for passing the assignment, but it is positively assessed. Other elements I assess include the student's comprehension and documentation of the project they choose, their contribution's breadth, their implementation's quality, their code's integration with the project, their testing implementation, their collaboration with the project's development team, their oral presentations, the quality of the written report, and their use of the available tooling for activities such as version control, code reviews, issue management, and documentation. Students approach the course and its assignments with trepidation and complete it with jubilation. Ensuring that students can make meaningful contributions to an open source project requires balancing their inexperience 
with the fast paced sophistication of modern open source software development. Over the years I have given out the assignment, I have seen that contributing to open source projects has become easier. Projects are becoming more inclusive. Many projects have streamlined onboarding and mentoring. Teams are more diverse, including female leads. A published code of contact is common. Responses are typically polite. And Windows builds are often supported, though some students adopt Linux to avoid glitches. Contributing has been simplified thanks to hand-holding in pull request workflows, widespread adoption of continuous integration, diverse code check bots, friendly code review processes, and the use of draft pull requests to allow incremental reviewing of work in progress. Still, the open source project environment the students dive into is far apart from the one they typically experience in traditional academic assignments. Therefore, a small contribution is the only realistic goal. The key point for making the course's assignment work is to have what are on first sight very low ambitions for the student's contribution. To an undergraduate student, the barriers to open source contributions are often so high that getting 20 lines of code integrated into a project is a worthwhile achievement indeed. Here is the key advice we give to our students for choosing a project. Choose a project with several active contributors so that there is a community to guide you and respond to your questions. Choose a relatively popular project, some GitHub stars, demonstrating that it provides useful functionality and is developed in a relatively sound way. You want to avoid an abandoned thesis project uploaded on GitHub. Avoid very popular projects so that your contributions will not get drowned in competition, noise and bureaucracy. Despite this, we have had students contributing to blockbuster projects such as TensorFlow and Visual Studio Code. Ensure the project regularly accepts pull requests from outsiders so that yours will also have a chance. Look for issues marked as good first issue, which indicate a project that is open to new contributors. The most common problems our students face over the assignment is the inability to build the project typically due to inexperience and platform incompatibilities, and a lack of communication by the project's team. Students get needlessly anxious thinking that their work must be integrated into the project. On the flip side, the biggest delight our students feel is when they find their code integrated into production software used worldwide. Learning